Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. So given this quarter circle, and inside of it, we have a square. Now the length of the radius of this quarter circle must be square root of 5. Now the question is, what is the area, the square? Now if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now let's answer this question together. Now we have given here a quarter circle and inside of it we have a square. Now take note that if we tilt the square like this, the vertices of the square is not perfectly fit inside this quarter circle. Also if we tilt this on the other side, we get the same thing. The vertices of this square does not fit inside the quarter circle. Therefore, to make this square fit inside this quarter circle, this segment must be congruent or the same. Therefore, this triangle is what we call an isosceles right triangle. It follows that the measure of these two acute angles must be 45 degrees. Now at this point, don't forget our goal. Our goal is to find the area of this green region or simply the area of the square. Now let S be the side of the square. Now since we know the length of the side of the square, therefore we can easily find the length of the diagonal of the square. Now using Pythagorean theorem or the property of 45-45-90 right triangle, we can say that the diagonal of the square measures S multiplied by the square root of 2. Now take note that this side is also S. Therefore, we can represent these two congruent segments in terms of S. Now since the hypotenuse of this 45, 45, 90 measures S, therefore each leg measures S over square root of 2. Now from here, from the center of the circle, let's draw a radius directly to the vertex of this square like this. Now take note that this angle also measures 45 degrees. Thus, we have 45 degrees plus 45 degrees will give us 90 degrees. Therefore, this triangle is a right triangle. Now we know the measure of one leg of this right triangle which is equal to S multiplied by the square root of 2. Also take note that this segment, the hypotenuse, is just the radius of this circle which is equivalent to square root of 5. Now also take note that these two segments are congruent. Therefore, the other leg of this right triangle must be equivalent to S over square root of 2. Now at this point, we can now find the area of the green region or simply the area of the square. And we know the area of the square which is equivalent to S squared. Thus, we need to find the value of S squared. To do that, let's use the Pythagorean theorem in this right triangle. If we do that, we get S over square root of 2 quantity squared plus S times square root of 2 quantity squared equals the hypotenuse squared which is equivalent to square root of 5 quantity squared. Now let's simplify. S over square root of 2 quantity squared will give us S squared over 2. Now, S multiplied by square root of 2 quantity squared, this will give us 2 times S squared. And on the right hand side, square root of 5 quantity squared will give us 5. Now, let's factor out S squared. Therefore, the left hand side of our equation becomes S squared multiplied by 1 half plus 2. Now, 1 half plus 2 will give us 5 over 2. To cancel out the fraction, let's multiply the whole equation by 2. Thus, we have 5s squared equals 10. Divide both sides by 5, we get that s squared equals 10 over 5. 
and 10 over 5 is just 2. Therefore, the area shaded in green, or simply the area of the square, must be equal to 2 square units. And, as always, we are done.